Good evening. Well, rather, good morning. It's 1.30 in the morning. Um, welcome to Solution Seekers. I'm Kelly, and I hope everybody's uh, being safe, doing the best that you possibly can to keep yourself and your family safe as well. Um, today has been an interesting day. Um, looking social media, the news, the protests, the people going against everybody else seems to be like creating some type of... Um, Atmosphere of negativity all throughout the world. I've been talking to some people um, on social media from different parts of the world. A, lot, um, a few conversations with some friends, and everybody feels weird. You know, it's, so it's, you know, there's there's a term called um, <laughs> there's a saying: "May you live in interesting times." That um, has been th used throughout. I think Kennedy really made it popular, but it. Some English guy used it back in uh, 1936, and he got it from somewhere in, from some Chinese warlord who knows how long ago. But it just makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, I use the word interesting as opposed to using uh, good or bad um, because I, <clears throat> it's my belief that if if I always use the word good or bad for a certain situation. There's a seated expectation uh, upon that from the outcomes. And I try to control the outcomes. I try to approach everything organically. And, um, you know, you know, things are going to be what they are. And um, you deal with circumstances as such as they've been presented in your life. And you deal with them right there. Or you take a few minutes. You put it on pause for however long that might last for you. And then after a certain period of time, if you're looking for it or if you're searching for the solution... Everything just, and then they just start applying it or trying to live it, you know. Um, I don't try to do anything. I try to live everything that I do. Um, but in opposition to that, um, <laughs> as e as not as easy as it it sounds, but I try to express love in all my in all my affairs in each and every situation that I come into. It's not always easy because there's, st there's still my self-will that I would like to impose, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter, you know. Um Looking back to what I just said about these this protest, it's like everybody has these opinions um, about how things should be. Everybody has done their research. Um, so many people have done this, but, you know, I can only be accountable for the things that I say. I can only be accountable for my actions. If I'm wrong, I'm still going to, I'm still going to have to be, I'm still going to have to hold myself accountable to that. And I, you know, for the people that know me, I, I only speak on the things that I know. Um, and, and this and in this matter, I have a whole lot of opinions, but I really don't have a whole lot of facts. And uh, I work in the, um, uh, inter I work in libraries. So libraries is all about getting information. I'm very well versed in finding information. I found some stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, I, w I would still rather for myself, I would still rather be cautious and not to impact somebody else's life, because then there's going to be a whole lot of guilt associated to that. And you know, um, I just it it's like do the less least amount of harm as possible, you know. And I think that's that's um, people don't get that. I think that when you look at the human condition, people just want what they want, how they want, it, and they can justify their actions by whatever. You know, it's just up for you to believe it. And then, you know, but are my actions insane? Are my actions in theory good, but in practicality, are are they harmful? And, uh, you know, and everybody wants their rights. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants that. But that comes a part of the human condition. What about the sacrifice? A lot of other people are sacrificing and people just don't want to um, act right. So is this any different from... The guy in the hood um, standing on the corner because he, he's got to feed his family if he's selling drugs. Even though that's against the law, but they've already said that these protests are against the law. But, um, you know, two two wrongs don't make a right. You know, um, it, I just wish they were just, man, people. There's nothing, There's that's, that's, all, that's all it possibly can be in. You know, that's one of the... Um, things that makes life interesting is because you have all these different people, you have all these different opinions, but at the end of the day, what's right?
You know, I like to think I can only focus on what's right for me because I have to live with myself and my actions. Um, today, um, I can see that and um, I'm well versed to state that, you know, um, man, I just, I'm just trying to thrive. I'm just trying to, uh, you know, add some quality and value to everybody I come in contact with, man. And, you know, I'm, we're all hurting at, at this time. And is this, is that a justification to go out and do what you want to do and feel so adamant about it? And they're still not using no social distancing. Cause I guess they just said to, to hell with everybody. I know better than, than the people who do this for a living. Um, I don't know, man, but I, I still see a lot of people who are really concerned about the next person. And I live in Los Angeles and that's saying a whole lot. Um, but you know what? One of the good things about all this is that um, there's always going to be fringe groups or subgroups, um, people on the fringe. But then but the, they just don't really matter when you look at, at everybody else. Because um, what does one or two, what is one or two percent really dictate the the other 98 percent they don't but they will get the most coverage and everybody will start assuming that everybody's like that when they're actually not and then everything is politicized all oh, the trump supporters or they're against biden uh, it's the republicans versus democrats what happened to just the people you know when when does when does people really matter and not politics you know, and I understand that everybody's concerned about the economy, but the economy is just, things are going to be what they are. You know, um, some things are outside of our control. Me, myself, things that are outside of my control, I can deal with the situation a lot more better than the things that self-induced uh, dilemmas that I used to always create. But I think that today, uh, no, I know for a fact that when things that are outside of my control I can manage I can manage myself more emotionally as opposed to if I create the situation. Because if I create the situation, I I there's really gonna be an immediate justification for why I did what I did or why I said what I said. Whereas in in this instance, um I can say, well, you know what, the only thing I can do is just deal with it the best that I possibly can. How do I do that? Each day is different, you know. Uh, I was battling with my job about getting a getting an assessment of my position they didn't, I kind of had to force my, force them to, not force them, but, you know, I, I put a little pressure on a few people and, um, um, you know, everything, everything worked out. Um, because before that I was kind of like in the, um, a loophole because I didn't know what my status was. I only worked there part time. So I'm not my, um, my paychecks are not, I don't have benefits. So, but it's my dream job and I love working there. And I love the people. So, you know, and when using force is kind of a bad word, it's, but more like I just kept inquiring about, well, what do I do? What do I do? Then I set a deadline and then, you know, what? everything worked out for the best of the ability because the people, they did look out for me and they, to give me something w which I can use uh, now, if only the website would stop crashing. But that's just another factor. Sometimes, when we when there's things that we need to do, um, they just don't work out. So what do we do? We just have to wait. You know, um, the website will be up at two o'clock in the morning, and I'll be right there um, filing the paperwork, and hopefully everything will go go all right. It's it's been working so far um, as it should, according to plan. Um, but it's only because I use a lot of patience. I'm very patient about most things that I do. Because um, what else do I have to do? I mean, I can't continually try to force situations. Um, if I just try to approach anything with a, with a lot of patience. And then when I start running out of patience, I start finding some more patience. Because then I'm starting to get started getting upset about something else that's outside of my control. Then when the only thing I can, really can control is my emotional state. And um, that gives me a lot of personal authority over uh, my emotions. Because let's, let's be honest, they're mine. When I wake up in the morning, um, some mornings I'm like, damn, I'm still here. I'm in pain. This last year when my back was really, when I had a lot of health issues. But some mornings I'm like, damn, I'm still here. Well, time to make some coffee. Today's going to be a good day because can't nobody screw my day up. But I can definitely screw my day up by um, 
thinking that I can't get what I want or what I should get or that's what uh, uh, I'm demanding. I'm demanding that I get this. You know, it's sort of like when when you go when you go buy a TV or if you go buy a car, you only get a warranty. But have you ever got a warranty on your word or that thing that you a commitment that you made to yourself? You know, people will always go get, they want everything to be covered. And, but what about covering with that what you say? So when I wake up in the morning, I'm saying, I'm not going to have a bad day. I'm not going to have a bad day. Because I made a commitment to myself not to have that. Now, now there, there are days when um, you're really going to get pressured and test. But you know what? You just go through the motions. And, uh, you know, no matter what happens, you don't have to have a bad day. You know, um, life shows up on your doorstep. So what do you do? You deal with the circumstances that has been presented and hopefully you put the right amount of effort into it, into your life and things will just kind of like pop up, you know, um, with people being so isolated, uh, in this, during this COVID epidemic that we're in, you know, mental health awareness is up, um, domestic violence is up, suicide rates is up, addiction issues are up, um, the boredom, poor, bad behavior, having access to the internet. Um, a lot of arguments. I'm just getting this from, from feedback from just talking to people, uh, online and then on the phone and text messages with diff a lot of different people. And, you know, it's, so what, what do we do? There's nothing we can do, but just try to help the next person, make yourself available to somebody else that you may see as hurting that, that's somebody that you see that who's, who's out of character in a sense. And, uh, that's all I try to do, you know, to the best of my ability. And, uh, you know, it gets frustrating. It gets emotional draining us sometimes. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about somebody else. And that's when the true um, the true value of life shows up. And uh, some, some parts of life are just, uh, it's, are just priceless. Because if I can help somebody through a certain situation, given my unique set of... Um, skill sets that I've gained over the years from having life push me, the crushing moment, because let me, let me just be honest. Um, I was telling somebody the other night that, um, you know, I could push somebody, inspire somebody, work through some dilemmas. But then when I get in my car or I walk away from left by myself, I feel crushed, you know, and, um, sometimes it's just like that sometimes, but you know, I have some coping skills. I have some, I don't listen to all this going on up here, you know, because if I cons, cons, constantly start listening to my head, um, I have to change the script up. If I don't change the script up, I'll be walking around like, nobody move, nobody move. If anybody moves, the house is just going to get it, but I have the gun. So it's up to me to put the gun down, you know, and grab some flowers or grab a cup of coffee or you know, <laughs> grab a cinnamon roll or, or something, you know, something that's soothing and something that's relaxing, you know, um, whatever, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. But, um, but I think there's, there's a cer certain point and, um, when your mindset dictates your life, you know, um, easier said than done. And I know that a lot of things happen. It ha they, they happen for me all the time, but, you know, I would prefer to be in the game as opposed to watching from the stands, because at least in the game, I have a, I have the ability to be a participant in something instead of just an observer, because now I was an observer for a very long time, and I didn't like it, because I said, man, I want to get in, I want to get in, but I didn't know, I didn't have the courage, I didn't have the willingness, I didn't have the fortitude um, to want to get in, I didn't have the self-awareness or or the confidence to want to get in because I always thought that I was always less than because I'd always believe everything that was going on in my mind. But, you know, lo and behold, as I started, I made a few changes and I started surrounding myself with some other people. Then I found out that I, there's a thing called purpose. There's a thing called humility. There's a thing called gratitude. And the most important of that, it was integrity. You know, I didn't, I knew what those words were, but I didn't know what they really meant to apply them. And I try to live by those things today. It's not always easy. God, it's not easy at all. But you know what? It's so worth the effort, you know. Um, well, it's almost that time. So I think I'm going to end it right there. And I'm going to take off. I'm going to continue on this um, later on this week. Um, but I hope everybody has a great tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. 
Gotcha. Um, and please like, share, subscribe, make some comments in the make some comments in the comment section if you choose to do so, and have a wonderful night.